This is Alvin Kamara, Amari Cooper, Keenan Allen, and you're watching Good Morning Madden. Good Morning Madden community. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Good Morning Madden. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, definitely click on that follow button. Let you know when we go live here Monday through Friday. Uh, we're here from 10.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern. And also, if you're new and you hear about Twitch drops or Good Morning, uh, Good Morning Madden uh, drops or Twitch, all that kind of stuff, you can go down below, click on the Get Connected tile, connect your Twitch account with your EA Orange account. Every time we go live, even Madden Live, even the Madden Mobile segment that Madden Mobile Nick does at 1 p.m., uh, you can go ahead and get Twitch drops from simply watching this stream. Also, uh, we do have competitive events that happen on Tuesdays, like, you know, King of the World, Derwin versus the World. A slight change this week. I'll go ahead and talk a little little bit about that uh, you can also earn twitch drops there you definitely want to get that connected because there are going to be streams starting i believe at 6 p.m today uh eastern uh it's about 10 p.m uh, eastern so i mean 10 p.m is when derwin starts so again a lot of streams a lot of ways to go ahead and earn twitch drops right now so definitely go ahead and check all that kind of stuff out all right so i'm going to go ahead and jump into updates one of the things that i talked about with you guys um just now is just simply from connecting your account you have the opportunity to get this good morning madden pack from watching good morning madden madden live also the madden mobile segment at 1 p.m eastern uh now if you are you know uh, watching at like mc uh mcs streams and all that kind of great stuff you can go ahead and get twitch drops there i'm also king of the world uh sorry king of the hill and uh, Durham versus the world, there's opportunities to go ahead and earn those drops. Uh, I'm pulling up yesterday's announcements because I want to walk through this. Don't want to spend too much time here. Gridiron Notes, um, the deep dive on the first plan core franchise update. I'll walk a little bit through that right now here. Uh, that's going. Um, those Gridiron Notes will be going live today. There'll be a title update associated with this is happening later on this week. So just a heads up there, uh, pending everything going through first party. Also, uh, the emergency title update went out yesterday, uh, went ahead and addressed the issue where players were unable to log into Madden NFL 21. So just a little bit of a heads up. Also, the team had addressed the Andre Johnson art not showing up for five, seven and eight. So that got. fix the Yannick Nguakwe Ravens chemistry if you weren't here that's been added to his, his power up also the Ronnie Law epic item now goes into the existing power up so just a little bit of a heads up right there um also, the Redux animation not working on Series 3 Redux players. I was told that's working. Uh, Solo Battle Rewards went out yesterday, and Madden Voice, of course, um, that was open till this morning. We went ahead and closed that. We'll go through, we'll triage through all those issues and whatnot uh, as we kind of get ready as we go into later on to the week. Uh, weekend League Rewards, um, those come out Tuesday, shortly after Team of the Week content, so stay tuned over at Madden NFL Direct on Twitter. Make sure to go ahead and keep a pulse there. We'll let you guys know once uh, the Weekend League Rewards go out or they're scheduled to go out and all that kind of great stuff so just a little bit of a heads up in that space uh, one of the things that i did want to talk to you guys about are the gridiron notes that will be coming out today um, so just a quick here's uh, heads up uh, just a little bit of you know we, we talked about this a little while ago um, you know this is a deep dive on the stuff that was released back um, in August um, August and, and S September there was some information that we kind of shared right there uh, we're delivering the first of three Madden NFL franchise updates with this release we're kind of giving you guys a little bit of earlier preview a little more of a deep dive uh, for the Madden NFL 21 post launch uh, releases we have worked with the franchise community members to come up with a number of updates focused on improving the usability for our core users of the mode as well as a number of tuning upgrades uh, we're sharing the first batch of updates and giving a preview of the second batch coming later in the cycle which is targeted to arrive in mid-January. So again, really appreciate um, the dev team kind of providing a little bit more information on the second update. Uh, we've already talked about some of these briefly, but if you want to go ahead and dig into that deep dive blog, there's dev trait regression tuning. I uh, explained specifically what's going on there. Uh, also the playoff bracket. We mentioned this kind of again, like I mentioned before, in one of the earlier gridiron notes, this simply is to kind of go into a deep dive on what's going on in this space. Uh, player card, career stats. Uh, so we actually have some images here. I believe there was supposed to be a video Video that was supposed to be um, uploaded into this specific uh, gridiron notes, but I'm not really sure if they managed to get that in there due to the size. Uh, X Factor customization, this is where the video was there, and then retirement improvements, but I think they'll find a landing spot for that video 
uh, definitely go ahead and check out all that kind of stuff over on the Gridiron Notes when it releases later on today. Uh, more information and more details there. Uh, the one thing I did want to go ahead and go over though is the second planned update. Since we already went through the first planned update and now we're giving you a deep dive, I want to go over um, the update that's coming out in mid-January. And I'll, I'll go ahead and see if we can get one of the developers uh, that had been working on the franchise updates to give some more context on why that mid-November release. My understanding is that there was some tech that was needed. Uh, one of the, the biggest pain points from last year, as you guys know, is that anytime there was an update pushed out for franchise, you had to restart your franchise. Extremely frustrating, extremely aggravating uh, for a lot of our online franchise users. The tech had to be there, and my understanding is that by mid-November, which when this title update does go out, um, that should address that so our players aren't stuck in that state. So personally, very appreciative of that um, and whatnot. Now for mid-January, uh, personnel logic improvement, new guidelines for CPU draft logic to assist teams and whether they should or should not have interest in drafting a first round QB. Addresses uh, teams drafts two first, Q, uh, uh, first round QBs in consecutive years along with other roster context co uh, considerations. QBs, a more authentic window to develop uh, before a replacement is considered to be drafted. So just a little bit of context right there. Commissioner controls undo FA signings, offseason uh, free agency signings. Uh, commissioner controls team override settings, giving commissioner of leagues the ability to turn on or off or allow users to keep individual settings for uh, heat seeker tackling, ball hawk, and switch assist. Uh, one of our top requested commissioner requests, this creates a way to level the playing field regarding assist features. Commissioner draft tools, giving commissioners the ability to assist autopilot during the draft, along with pause, resume functionality. This has been a top community request as well. Commu uh, commissioner house rules, play cooldown and replete play limits. So I think with the introduction and the debut of all this from Mutt and Superstar KO, house rules became one of the most requested features for our franchise players. So take control as a commissioner and dictate how many times a play can be um, called in a game and how long a player must wait before calling the same play. So again, a lot of commissioner, um, you know, controls given in that mid January update. So just wanted to kind of highlight that there. Uh, we really do appreciate all the feedback that you guys continue to give us. I know if you guys go check out, um, you know, uh, ea.com slash Madden voice. We have a lot of people giving feedback about franchise, you know, and they'll say fixed franchise. You know, that's been the theme this year for our core players as it should be. Um, and there's just a lot there. People are kind of putting a ton of ideas into one thing. So it makes it very hard to distill what we're passing along to the team. We'll start going through that and triaging a lot of that feedback after we go ahead and release uh, the title update. And again, um, you got to keep in mind, there's so much feedback in one specific post. It makes it very hard to kind of direct those to the teams. So it's one of those things that we'll continue to work with the teams and finding out the best way to get that feedback to them, get it addressed and highlight in the future what's going to be addressed. Um, all right, so we have some uh, MCS news. Got some uh, Madden Club Championship Ultimate Challenges kind of coming in the game. We're going to go ahead and check that out. But before I do that, this is what's coming out later on today. This is just how I like it. All right. So one of the things is, um, you know, MCS is here. I uh, want to let you guys know that today uh, we still have King of the Hill. One of the questions that I, I brought up yesterday that I was still trying to investigate and find answers to was, you know, with kind of the change in the formatting of King of the Hill and Derwin versus the world, are you guys still able to go ahead and earn your crown tokens? Yes, you will. Uh, everything is going to actually kind of start um, today around 6 p.m. Um, Eastern. You'll see right here uh, for the AFC West, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern, and then we have Derwin versus the world. When you start watching the AFC West, um, your time starts counting towards uh, those drops, right? So that you can go ahead and earn the Derwin versus the world token using the hour of watch time, but you can start at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern over at at our Twitch channel. Um, again, Derwin versus the world. You can go ahead and check that out. He's going to play against Chad Ochocinco, a definite must watch. Tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, the NFC West is going to be premiering from uh, and, and whatnot. But then also, uh, Derwin is going to go ahead and have a game against YouTuber QJB. So you definitely want to go ahead and check all that kind of stuff out as well. All right, let me go ahead and give you guys an update. There are some uh, Madden Club Championship 
uh, ultimate challenges that are happening in game. Uh, today, you'll probably see this right here. The Madden Club Championship is here. Check out weekly challenges uh, to work toward a NAT 95 Cardinals champion and tune in Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. So we kind of went ahead and highlighted that out right there. Um, so again, you know, the new conference challenges are added weekly. Uh, this week, you will basically have a couple in there. Uh, so you have a total of, uh, for, for each release, there's going to be four challenges. For this week, there's eight challenges, but every subsequent week, only four challenges. Just want to call that out. Uh, this is basically to match up with our finals this week. Uh, so that is why you're seeing eight. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this right here. You're gonna have you're gonna be able to earn MCC division tokens by completely weekly challenges and the MCC finals tokens starting January 21st to earn a NAT 95 Cardinals champion. We'll go ahead and highlight who those players are. Uh, here, of course, here are your missions. You're gonna earn seven divisional tokens. Uh, you basically do this by doing those ultimate challenges. You have the ability to earn one finals token. That finals game is gonna be on January 20th of 2021. So you definitely want to go ahead and check that out. And then you can complete the MCC Cardinals champion and set. Uh, you know, you can turn in your seven MCC divisional tokens and that one MCC finals token. I do want to highlight that these challenges do expire. So that's what I've been told here. Uh, play each week uh, to earn a divisional token. Uh, there's milestones, but someone told me right here, let's see, um, two are available for week one. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Um, if, if anything changes there, I'll definitely let you guys know. Uh, here you go. Here is what your ultimate challenges are going to look like because you guys are probably wondering what those games are gonna be in the milestones. So of course, you're gonna have some milestones. With the milestones, you're gonna have the opportunity to earn Hail Mary packs uh, from accumulating some of the stars. You also have an opportunity to earn a midfield a fantasy pack, a red zone fantasy pack um, as well. So just simply from grinding this out and doing the, mi the milestones, you will get some packs. Uh, but also the, the thing that you're looking for is getting that 95 overall NAT um, Cardinals champion right there. So again, here's an example of what those um, ultimate challenges are going to look like. Uh, you're going to go ahead and play those. And again, they're going to unlock as you continue. You need to win the game. It starts on the condition of the fourth quarter with three minutes for this one specifically. So just a little bit of a heads up. And here are what the sets are going to look like. Uh, for the Madden Club Championship Cardinals champion. You can turn in those seven divisional champion tokens and the finals uh, champion token to earn a NAT 95 Kyler Murray, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, Chandler Jones, or Patrick Peterson. Uh, so I want to call that out. The one thing that I was told is that these particular items, when you complete them, they will go into their existing power-up. So that's a big W. Hopefully the chat gives me a W in the chat. Someone said L, but I mean, maybe you don't like the players, but I still think it's a W that you're able to put those players into the existing power-up. I can't mention last year um, and in previous years when you would actually get these things and you they were just their own separate thing. No fun, no bueno, didn't like it, uh, but it's kind of nice that you're able to go ahead and uh, add these people into their existing power-ups when that time comes. All right, let's go ahead and talk about Madden Live. Your Madden Live schedule, we have uh, D Grizzle TV and KMAC uh, today. So uh, uh, D Grizzle TV from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. You definitely want to check them out, get those Twitch drops. KMAC from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. Here's the remainder of your schedule for the rest of the week. So you definitely want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, Madden Mobile segment, Madden Mobile Nick. Guys, we have Twitch drops enabled in the Madden Mobile segment right now, happening at 1 p.m. Eastern. Definitely want to go check all of that out. Uh, that is happening with Madden Mobile Nick. One thing I want to highlight with Veterans Day um, happening tomorrow, we'll be streaming, uh, so you guys get your Twitch drops. Uh, Madden Mobile segment, Nick is actually um, uh, heading out, so he will not be doing the stream. I think Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll confirm tomorrow. I sent him a note. I haven't heard back from him. He may have already left. Um, uh, to go ahead and see some family. Uh, but just a little bit of a heads up right there for your Madden Mobile segment. Season two is here. Um, and guys, but most importantly, you guys want to know about Team of the Week. So let's go ahead and jump into Team of the Week. I'll be right back. Hang tight. What's up? It's your boy Jared Cook here. And you are watching Good Morning Mad. All right. <clears throat> We are back. We're going to go ahead and go uh, talk about Team of the Week. But before we do that, let me go ahead and do some giveaways. I'm actually going to go ahead, since we've talked a lot today, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of extra um, regular giveaways. So let me go ahead and move those up. For those winners earlier, I want to let you know uh, God's Gift 5255. Uh, you won Steve McNair LTD, his power up, and 2000 training. Addict 856, you won uh, Ronnie Lott, the LTD, his pup, and 2000 training. And then Get Busy, you won Melvin Gordon. Um, uh, so 
you just teasing that right there. He's going to be the LTD, so we'll go ahead and jump into that. Uh, and then also you may have seen the offensive and defensive heroes will be giving those away as part of the regular giveaways. Those will be Matt Burke and James Harrison, uh, their pups and 1500 training so we'll go ahead and do uh two of those giveaways right now uh for our lucky winner that's going to go ahead and get um i bust hat i bust i bust hats or something like that i bust hats uh probably the i'm reading it wrong probably the last part of your name is inappropriate for me to say on stream but hey you know what it's all good so i bust hat uh, congratulations to you. You won Matt Burke, the pup, and 1500 training. And I'm going to go ahead and roll for a James Harrison. Uh, that lucky winner is going to be how it, uh, how it, how it going, dude? How it going, dude? Congratulations to you. Um, you know, I'm sitting over here, like, and you see the consternation in my face. Like, how, what? What is that? What is that? So you won James Harrison, the pup, and 1500 training. So congratulations to you, my friend. But hey, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into. Um, the team of the week. So Matt Burke um, is going to go ahead and be uh, your center. He is your offensive hero. I know I saw some comments from people, you know, like, hey, Matt Burke, you know, like, why? Hey, offensive offensive linemen are people too, man. Give them a break. Give them a break. Uh, James Harrison uh, is going to be your defensive hero. But like I mentioned, um, you know, I, I, went, I, I went and spoiled it. I, I mentioned Melvin Gordon. I'll show him here shortly. But let me go ahead and show you the rest of your week nine offensive performers. You have uh, Jaron Reed uh, from the Seattle Seahawks defensive tackle. Um, you also have Devonte Adams. Now I was doing some research cause I needed to get the pups, right? Like the pup screens. Cause he gets a plus one to his power up with Devonte Adams. Devonte Adams has had a year. I mean, in Madden ultimate team, I think he won week one. I think he had something in week seven. Uh, he he's had a few, uh, team of the week items. So just a little bit of a heads up right there. Uh, he is getting another upgrade to his power up. Uh, AJ Klein um, right there for the Bills. The Bills just absolutely destroyed the Seattle Seahawks. Um, just destroyed them. Um, and duly noted. Just duly noted. But there's a couple of Bills here, guys. There's a couple of Bills here. There's not only AJ. Um, I'll go ahead and show the other one. But we got Tua. I know Not Gibbs is extremely excited that Tua is getting an item. So Tua is getting an item today. Uh, great stuff, Dolphins fans out there. I see, I see that, I see the chat going ham with Tua. Great stuff. I see some W's right there. Um, and then uh, for the Giants, we have Jabril Peppers coming with that 90 speed. Uh, he's got that 92 hit power uh, for the Giants. Uh, we have Jerry Judy. Um, he, uh, you know, wide receiver for the Broncos, 91 speed. A lot of speedsters kind of starting to kind of uh, creep up in the game. But your player of the week is Josh Allen. So that's your other Bills. Uh, definitely well-deserved, man. That guy was throwing dots, throwing dots. He, just, he was just destroying the Seahawks. I was, I, when I turned on the game, it was like 14-0. And I'm like, this guy is just, he's having, um, I don't know if I can say it, hell of a year. He's just having a hell of a year uh, and just great stuff. Definitely well-deserved for Josh Allen. I mentioned Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon, uh, halfback for the, char uh, for the Chargers. Uh, 90 speed. Uh, 93 change of direction and 90 break tackle and 93 carry. So those are going to be your specific team of the week, week nine performers. Talking about the power up. So you're going to need 2,900 to go ahead and upgrade him in this power up slot right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you screens on what items are specifically being powered up. Uh, so just a little bit of a heads up right there. Um, I know some people said Dalvin Cook as well. And I'll be honest with you, Dalvin Cook had an item last week, right? Um, he Definitely deserved an item this week, but I think they kind of create a little bit of space right there uh, for that. I see some comments in the chat, you know, like Dalvin Cook over Melvin, but just a little bit of a heads up. I think he had like an amazing week last week, um, and I don't know if they were going to be able to go ahead and do back to back on that. Uh, so here you go, team of the week. You're going to have your ultimate challenges that you guys are going to go ahead and do. Uh, your week nine, ugh, man, every time I see this, Bills versus Seahawks, that, that was a really tough game uh, for me to watch. But um, hey, you know what? You win some, you lose some. Uh, you're going to go ahead and win the game to go ahead and get those specific items, get your team of the year tokens. Uh, also, the sets, I'm going to walk through this. You have your week nine set specifically. Uh, for your 81 to 89 overall team of the week, week nine, you're going to exchange 1678 to 82 players to earn a random 81 to 89 overall team of the week, week nine player. Um, also, you have your offensive and defensive uh, hero sets uh, as well. You're going to need the week nine uh, for the defensive hero. You'll need the week nine defensive uh, performers. And then for the offensive side of the ball with Matt Burke, um, 
just looking tough right there. You're going to need those offensive week nine uh, players as well. You have Josh Allen, and of course, you're going to need for Josh Allen a mixture of all that kind of great stuff, all that goodness from week nine. So those are your players right there um, for team of the week. That should be going out right around 2 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to keep eyes and tabs on over uh, at at EA Sports underscore Mutt. They'll tweet that out. Look for in-game messaging and all that great stuff. Guys, let's go ahead and do some giveaways. We'll be right back. 